Hi, Sean. My name is Tyler Grimm, and I'm an automotive engineering student at Clemson University. There seems to be a bit of a catch-22 right now in American manufacturing. Companies must adopt automation and new technology in order to maintain competitiveness with low-wage economies. But in doing so, they can displace many of our lower to middle-class workers. My question is, how can Hitachi America ensure competitiveness with global manufacturing? Hi, Tyler. Uh, thanks for uh, thanks for joining and thanks for the question. So um, this is a, a very common concern when people talk about automation, AI and robotics. You know, one of our major challenges, we have to continue to be competitive. We have to use digital and automation as much as possible to reduce our manufacturing costs, to manufacture at, at faster speeds. Our output has to be much greater. If a company does not use this technology, they're going to be left behind. So at the same time, we also have a responsibility towards our, our employees and our workforce. It's important for us to upskill our current workforce to make sure that they're ready for the jobs of the future. In the future, there's not going to be anybody interested in those kinds of roles that are very important. And that's where automation and AI will fill that gap. So I think it's a, it's a dual strategy to stay competitive, but also be sensitive to the, to the working force. Um, and I think companies who deploy both uh, um, simultaneously will be very competitive in the future. Hi, Asham. My name is Bevany Stearman, and I'm an information sciences and technology student at Penn State New Kensington. My question for you is, how can digital technologies aid in the manufacturing process? Thank you. Great question, Bevany, and, and, and thanks for that. If you look at all the industries that are going through digital transformation, manufacturing is no different. For Hitachi, we look at things like, you know, digital twin as an example of what, an example of using digital technologies in the manufacturing industry. With a digital twin, you create a, a digital representation of the physical factory that you have, and you can start to simulate and predict and really work in a digital environment to preempt what's going to happen and then immediately apply that knowledge into the manufacturing floor. That will drive agility um, in the manufacturing process as well. The only cost effective way to do that is to use flexible robotics and automation so you can ritually factory during the day you're making this type of equipment or car or component and in the afternoon you're making something completely different from the exact same assembly line the more we can predict the more we can be more agile i think the better we can be and and um and the more efficient we can be over the long run <laughs>